school. Brody and I were best friends in high school. We were a pretty good team then. Uh, we're in the same profession. I think we'd be a great team now, working uh, back where we grew up. Uh, Nick, thanks for coming in. You're a lot more dressed up than the others have been, so I appreciate that. No, good uh, start. Tell me why you think you'd be a really good uh, candidate for starting a real estate team. Um, I think there's, I think there's a lot of good things about being a team, especially a partnership. Um, I know we, you know, we know each other pretty well. Uh, I think we'd complement each other really well. I think you know, you're you're an extrovert. I'm an introvert. I'm intelligent. You're you say intelligent things a lot, um, but I think that's I think we're a really good match in that aspect. We are a really good match. Um, tell me, you said you had so many great ideas. Go ahead and share some of them with me. I think a lot of social media things can be done. I think there's a market for that that people aren't really utilizing as well. And that's something I really want our platform to be because I think you can save your clients a lot of money by using social media because, you know, it's free. There's certain ads you can pay for, but I think, you know, the way we would utilize it would save our clients a lot of money as well as we'd be able to sell their properties for more. Good, yeah. Next question. Can you tell me a little bit about what kind of experiences you have? What have you done in the past? What can you bring to the table here? Yeah, so I've been with a great company for the last two years. I've learned a lot. Um, I ended up actually joining another team uh, a year ago and it's been really beneficial for me. Um, I've done over, you know, I've sold over 20 homes this last year, so we've seen a lot of success. Um, I was gonna go maybe off on my own to start my own team, um, but I love the idea of a partnership because I think we can bounce so many good ideas off of each other um, as well as have a little more fun with it. So um, it was really good timing for me and I heard you had retired from teaching. So um, it seemed like it was a match made in heaven. That's my opinion though. Yeah, well, that is your opinion. Um, so Nick, goals are really important to me. Um, I love setting goals. What, what kind of goals do you have for the next few years? Well, ever since this came up, I really started thinking more about goals. Um, I've never had you know, a lot of strong goals or something I've worked towards as an individual, but in real estate, I've learned that you really need to focus on your goals because it just helps with the other team. Create something really big and you know, expand pretty quickly on it, um, especially in today's market, so. Good. So Nick, here we are, uh, kind of finishing things up. Uh, clearly, you've demonstrated uh, you are going to be really good at, at making our clients a lot of money. Uh, you've, you're really good behind the scenes. You can uh, advertise and make great videos. But um, I guess I'm a little bit nervous about spending every day with you. Um, do people like you? People think I have a, a really good sense of humor. Um, has anybody spent... Monday through Friday with you, weekends? Well, no, I, I spend a lot of time working. My wife always, you know, wants me to get out and try to do, do more at work. So she's, I haven't. Good. Well, I've, I felt like it went pretty well. He, uh, he didn't even ask me that many questions though. He kind of seemed to almost get bored with it, but, um, I'm sure he has a lot of really strong candidates, so um, I'm optimistic, but I know there's a lot of good competition out there too. Wow, I'm glad that's over with. That felt like forever. Well, on paper, Nick uh, is a really good real estate agent. Uh, we've been good friends, but just something about him I'm not sure about. And I had three really strong kit. Well, I had three candidates that I interviewed for this position, so time will tell.